Hello all, welcome to the session on development of a pyramid. Imagine a square pyramid with base corners A, B, C and D and apex O. While developing the pyramid from a slant edge OA, we will get the final pattern like this. All the edges will be in true length and we can get those true length from the orthographic views. Let's look at the procedure to draw the pattern of the pyramid with the help of a problem. A square pyramid of base edge 30 mm and height 60 mm resting on HP and two sides of the base parallel to VP. It is cut by a plane bisecting the axis and inclined at 40 degree to the base. Draw the development of the lateral surfaces of the lower portion of the cut pyramid. Consider a square pyramid with base edge A, B, C, D and apex or vertex O. It is given that two sides of the base is parallel to VP. Here we place the base edge AB and CD as parallel to VP. Let's begin with the orthography projection of the solid. Reference line XY. Top view of the square prism as two base edges parallel to VP which is 30 mm. Let's name the solid base corners as A, B, C and D. Find the apex O by joining any two opposite corners and name the axis as OM. Now the top view is completed. Let's project the corners in top view to get the front view. As the solid resting on HP, the front views of the base corners will be on XY line. Axis height is given as 60 mm. As the solid is a pyramid, we can draw the slant edges OE, OB, OC and OD. Now the front view is also completed. Let's locate the section plane and section points. It is given that the section plane bisecting the axis, that means midway to the axis and is inclined 40 degree to HP. It is possible to draw that section plane either towards left or towards right because which is not mentioned in the problem. Draw the section plane with chain thin line with thick ends and arrowhead. And also mention the trace of the section plane. Now let's find the section points on the solid. The easiest method to find the section point is just start with any extreme end of the section line. Move along the section line and it meets the edge OA and OD. Let's name the section point on the visible edge. Here OA is visible and OD is hidden in front view. So section plane cuts the edge OA at point 1. Moving along the section line and meets the edge OB and OC. Here OB is visible so section plane cuts OB at point 2. Moving along the section plane and return back to get the section points on the hidden edges. Section plane cuts the edge OC at point 3 and cuts the edge OD at point 4. Now let's draw the pattern of the square pyramid. Try to start developing from the shortest edge. In this problem OA is the shortest one after sectioning the solid which is not compulsory but that's the right way to do the development. We know that every detail in the pattern should be true length. When we start developing from edge OA, we need the true length of the OA first. Here true length of OA is not available in front view and as well as in top view. We have to find the true length before developing the pyramid. We know that the front view of OA will be a true length only if the top view is parallel to XY. So let's make the top view of OA parallel to XY. As the top view of edge OA shifted to a new position, the front view will also move along with that. This will be the true length of edge OA. Measure the true length and start developing the pyramid. The developed pattern of a pyramid will inscribe in a sector of a circle with the radius of true length of slant edge. Draw the arc in a convenient length. Measure the true length of the base edge AB and mark it on the arc. Complete all the other corners by taking the true length from the orthography projection. 
draw the slant edges OA, OB, OC and OD on the pattern and draw the base edges AB, BC, CD and DA. This is the pattern of the square pyramid. Now let's mark the section points on the developed pattern. We can see the section points on the slant edges in front view and we have to reproduce the points on the pattern. Here the slant edges in the pattern is true length but in front view it is a reduced one. So it is not possible to directly measure the length from front view and mark it on the pattern. The true position of the section points can be found by projecting those section points onto a true length line. Projecting the points 1 and 4 to the true length, we will get the true position of section points on the true line. Same in the case of section points 2 and 3. The dimension from the apex to the section point should measure from the true length line only. To plot the point 1, measure the distance from O to 1 from true length line and mark it on the edge OA in the pattern. Similarly, point 2 from the true line and mark it on edge OB. Point 3, point 4 and finally point 1. In other way, points 2 and 3 are of same length. So we can draw an arc from 2 to plot the point 3. Similarly, in the case of point 1 and 4 also. And finally, complete the remaining portion in the pattern with thick lines.